Hello everyone, what's up, JWisp here, and welcome back to episode 3 of the Minecraft 1.15 Survival Let's Play. Here we are, back in our amazing world, and I'm super excited to start a new episode. Before I do anything this episode, I just have to say it again, I've said it at the beginning of every episode so far, but thank you guys seriously so much for the crazy support on this series so far. It's only episode 3, and we're already getting tons of likes on the series, tons of new people coming to the channel, and I just wanted to say I really appreciate it. And really fast, a lot of people have been asking me if I have various social media accounts like Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, things like that. Um, and just so you guys know, I keep all my links to all my different social media accounts in the description below. So if you want to follow any of my social medias, they're down below. My name for everything, though, is pretty much just JWisp. So if you search it up, <laughs> you can probably find it. But anyways, here we are in episode 3. And so what's been going on is in the last episode, we made this little fishing dock. Um, we did a few things around the village, and then we also went mining. And I showed you guys a really good method to get tons of diamonds quickly. And I got a good reaction. A lot of people said they used my method, and they've had good success finding some items. But today, I have a few things I want to accomplish. We have some villagers we need to rescue. And I'm also looking for a new source of food and some things I can build here around the village. So I'll show you that in a sec. But before we start building all that, we have two quick things I need to announce. So first of all, off camera while I was doing a little bit of work experimenting with some bridge designs, um, because you all said some stuff and I tried it, but I ultimately just ended up using the same bridge I had because I liked it the most. But I had some bones in my inventory and I saw another dog. And so over here we have Bjorn, my first dog, but here we have my second dog. So as you can see, um, he slash she is a little shy, doesn't really like to look at the camera. Um, but anyways, uh, if you guys have any name suggestions, let me know down below because I, I need some name suggestions. I don't really care, you know, whether you want to name it a boy name, a girl name, anything like that. Uh, I, I'd be down. But yeah, just let me know uh, what you think. And then also here we have the book I've been talking about where I want to add someone's name every episode. The big book filled with awesome people and we have our first entry and the person I want to enter actually got the top comment in the second episode but they said something really nice and also gave me a suggestion that I think is really cool. So it's from my guy Homie Evan and he said you're always so funny and make my day especially since today wasn't the best for me. Also you should have different areas for different types of builds like modern, pixelated, etc. Please keep up the let's play. So I'm deciding to put him in here as my first name so I'm gonna do Homie Evan if I can spell <laughs> and there we go keep him in there. Um, and yeah, I just thought that was a really nice comment. It made my day. And whenever you guys send nice comments like that, it always means a lot. So I appreciate you guys for commenting. If you want to get in the book, uh, leave me a nice comment too. If you look at my comment sections though, I usually reply to nearly every comment. I don't always, especially if the video has been up for a few days. But as long as you comment within the first few days of, you know, the video coming out, I usually try to reply. Um, so there's that. That just made my day. And, you know, that's the point of me making these videos. I really just try to make people's day brighter. And I like the idea of keeping my world up into sections with builds. But anyways, let's get started here doing some stuff in the village. So first off, I, I want to... I, we need to save these villagers. They've just been up there. I was debating whether I should just leave them up there because it's funny or take them down and try to save them. But I think I'm going to try to save them just because I feel kind of bad that they're stuck up there. So we have to find... Um, how to make our way back up to the top of this and then what I'll probably try to do is just push the villagers down we have a series of um, beautifully designed dirt bridges here that I've been using um, <laughs> to make my way around here I'll probably just you know break this whole floating section eventually because um, it looks kind of bad and that way I can have a little bit more room but let's see there should be a few villagers up here um, also in the future I plan on totally revamping the village um, and actually making totally new villager houses so I'll probably take down the rest of the houses pretty soon so with this guy let's just uh push you down let's there you go sorry for hurting you but <laughs> it needed to be done good thing we don't have any iron golems though they'd be attacking me um, but I have a lot of iron so I might make one and then we have this guy let's just uh, push you down there we go <laughs> I'm sorry sorry if you got hurt oh did he die oh no he's okay he's okay uh, and then I think there's one more you know, maybe the last villager, maybe he's fine. I think he's just kind of relaxing. Is he on the other? I think he might be on the other part here. I have this little bridge so he can get from place to place. Oh, actually, he couldn't because there was a block. Um, He might be up here, though. I'm not sure. Let me see. Hello? Villager? 
Are you stuck? You might be stuck on the side of the mountain somewhere. <laughs> There's a lot of villagers that I just don't even know about. Oh, I hear him. He's around here. Is he down? Oh, he's under me. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at this. How many villagers? Oh, this. Okay, so this guy spawned inside of a tree. First off, let's get you down. <laughs> if I if I can get him in the lake there, the little river, I think they'll be okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for hurting you. There's a lot of vill. Oh. I almost <laughs> okay okay well they're down here so they can make their way over there let's try to save these last two villagers though they actually knocked me off <laughs> um let's just make our way up here really fast that's why the villager was the village was so empty i was curious why there weren't a lot of villagers okay come on go down i'm sorry for hurting you please don't hate me <laughs> all right we should be good there though so now they can they should be able to make their way to the village. I believe villagers will swim, right? Maybe not. Here, let me make a little bit of a pathway. Just because I think once it's nighttime, they'll try to find their way to the beds in these houses. Um, so anyways, we have that. We kind of saved our villagers a little bit. Again, this village is a total mess. So I plan on revamping it in the future. Um, but that's not what I want to do right now. So right now, I have a little bit of a dilemma. I am currently running very low on food. I have a few pieces of bread here, and that's mostly just from taking from the villagers and then also doing a few trades with, um, it wasn't this one, but some of the other farming villagers for some food. But what I want to do is make a greenhouse. So I found a really cool greenhouse design from my friend Typeface. I will link his channel down below. Um, and he makes a lot of good builds. You guys should check him out. And I'm not going to copy his design exactly, but I'm kind of going to take a lot of inspiration from him. And, you know, I have his permission. We're good friends. So what I'm going to do is, I think around here, I'm going to deforest a little area and excavate it to make it a little flatter. And then I will be back with you guys, and we can start this awesome greenhouse design. Okay, so I've cleared a significant portion, as you can see, of this area of the dirt, grass, trees... Um, they're still kind of making their way down um, But to give me a little bit of room because I think I'm gonna build it right around here this little area So what I'm gonna use to build this is my main material will be spruce wood. So that's good I got a lot from taking down those trees. My tools are almost destroyed, but it's worth it uh, But I will also be using glass So what I did off camera is I went a little bit in that direction and there's actually a big river bank and I went on the sides of the bank and just got a lot of the sand I went through like two shovels, um, but I made myself a Few stacks of glass and I had a lot of coal so I could do this. Oh, we actually have you know, we have a tiny bit left So let's uh, Well, we can just put it in there, but uh, we have some glass here and I'm gonna be making it out of this Also, let's grab a few other things. I have some spruce trap doors. I have a composter um, And this is because I'll put a composter near the greenhouse so I can have some of the villagers um, doing a little bit of the work and then I'll also bring with me some seeds for planting maybe some potatoes as well and I think that should oh, I still have some glass from the last build uh, I think that should be pretty good so let's head over here oh, I love my dogs they're so cute <laughs> uh, let's head over here and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to quickly build a general frame for the greenhouse um, off camera just because I want to mess with a few designs see what works best for me And I will be back with you guys once I have done that. All right, so here's what I've created so far It's pretty much a 5x5 five five, or really a 6x6 six six glass box skipping the corners I left a little space here in the front for a spruce door and then I Increased the front um, the front is four blocks high while the sides are only three and then at the very top here I have another layer of glass, so what I'm gonna quickly do before I finish this is go sleep really fast, um, cause it is nighttime. So, oh, uh, you know what, let's just, I don't wanna go to my house, I'm too lazy. I'm gonna just snatch this bed really fast. <laughs> um, sorry villager, I, I'm saving you though, cause I'm preventing evil mobs from spawning. Uh, I need to go this way. <clears throat> so anyways, we have this, doesn't look quite like a greenhouse yet, but what we're gonna do is go in the corners here, and throw down some spruce planks. I might have to make myself um, a few new tools for this because my tools are about to break. But pretty much for this build, all you'll need is probably a few stacks of spruce wood or really any wood and like a stack and a half of glass. And then what I'm gonna do is go on the sides here, replace it with slabs. <clears throat> and then also on this level right here, put some slabs. 
And then after this, this is pretty much the main frame I'm going to be dealing with and using. And then from here, it's just a little bit of detailing work and adding your own little touches. So I'm going to experiment with some stuff really fast and then I will be back with you guys once I have completed it. Alright, so here's nearly the finished greenhouse. I followed closely what typeface did, but after you have the frame, literally all I did, you know, it's just adding some stairs and some slabs, adding a few fences, and also adding spruce trap doors galore. And it's not just in this greenhouse, but I do this in a lot of my builds. If you check out my other survival let's play for 1.14, I put literally spruce trap doors everywhere. I love them, as you can tell by the fishing dock. I use them in a lot of builds, but let's fill this up with some crops now and see what we can do. So, for example, why did I say for example? I don't know. But we have this really ugly <laughs> thing here that the game automatically spawned with. I'm going to take out this farm. I already destroyed one of the villagers' farms, um, and I feel bad, but at least, at least I'm making a replacement for them. So, let's go make another shovel really fast. I have some iron on me because I needed to make a hoe. And I also made a lantern. I gotta start using lanterns more. I don't know why I don't. It's one of my favorite blocks. I love lanterns. I just always forget they're in the game. I don't know. They're still a relatively new block for me. Um, but I definitely gotta experiment with using it more. But yeah, breaking all these items up should get us a nice assortment of crops that we can use for the farm. So here we have that. Let's also get rid of some of these ugly cobblestone pillars. I don't know why. I'm not trying to diss Mojang here, but uh, I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. It's a nice little touch, I guess. <laughs> but let's also snatch these spruce trap doors. Because, you know, I'll always need these for building. <laughs> but yeah, we can just fill the greenhouse with some items. And it should end up looking pretty, pretty good. So let's see what the finished product looks like after it is crops. And also, you know, greenhouses always look better after the crops have fully grown. So I might take a screenshot of them after I'm totally finished with it all. But anyways, here we have this. That's down. Also, let's let's get rid of this path, really. I don't know why they put a path block in the middle. I think path block is one of the ugliest blocks ever. I guess it has kind of a purpose, but I don't know. I'm not a fan of it. I'll probably put my own paths throughout this village. But here we have this. So let's mess around with some stuff. Let's do... Let's do wheat on the bottom layer here. I think that'll look good once the wheat has fully grown. And then what I will also do is I'll put a composter in the back there. That way a villager actually takes this as a job. And then let's do, do I have any carrot seeds? I don't. Well, okay, let's just do pumpkins on top then. I would like some carrots, but it's okay. And there we go pretty much our finished product I think it looks pretty good uh, I'm gonna get this crafting table and this chest out of here kind of has all my stuff but yeah I think that looks really good I'm proud of that let's go sleep one more time to make sure all these bad guys aren't spawning I also want to check up on our villagers really fast I want to make sure they're doing okay sugarcane's going good um, pretty soon I will probably take my diamond pickaxe to go down and get some obsidian and also try to find more diamonds and then maybe we can do some sort of enchantment table soon i think that'll be pretty cool um and also again if you guys have a name suggestion for the dog let me know <laughs> but yeah let's go over it let's check oh a villager's up there i wonder if that's a new one that spawned or if he just made his way i don't know okay there's one of the villagers Maybe they've made their way back up because their house is up there. Is there a way for them to get... Oh, I guess there is a way for them to get back up. If they really wanted to jump every single block, which, you know, sometimes villagers do. Okay, there's one down there. He just got himself stuck again. <laughs> I might make it impossible to climb that mountain if they just keep going up there. But what should happen pretty soon... Oh, they just like getting stuck everywhere, don't they? Why is there spruce wood there, though? That's kind of weird. Um, oh, no, that was for me. I placed that. <laughs> but what should happen pretty soon here is within this area, um, <clears throat> even though I'll be destroying a lot of these village houses, I'll make new ones to replace them once I destroy them. But with all these village houses, all these beds, all these villagers running around, and then also uh, I'll probably add more greenhouses. I might try some different designs. I might copy this design. I might just add a farm. But anyways, with the farms, with the houses, the beds, the villagers, what might actually happen is... We might get some iron golems spawning automatically. If they don't, I'll also try to make some on my own. But, you know, once there is enough villagers, enough beds, and enough farming equipment in the same area, 
Mojang, Minecraft, can actually call it an official village. And that's pretty much how Iron Golems can spawn naturally. And with that naturally spawning Iron Golem mechanic, that's how most people make Iron Golem farms. But yeah, here we have that. I think Greenhouse looks pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed that build. And also, our villagers are rescued here. Um, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to accomplish today. Again, if you guys have any suggestions on how to make the build maybe look a little better or look different, if you guys think you can have any critiques, let me know. I think it looks pretty good so far. Um... I really like it. I think Typeface did a good job. Again, check out his channel because this build is highly inspired off of him. Uh, we're good pals now. And yeah, I'm super excited to see where this world goes. If you have any suggestions for future episodes, let me know down below. And also, let me know what kind of you know video length you guys would like. My first video was like 23 minutes. The next one was almost 30. Oh, here we have the farming villager. Looks like he's going to work in his little job. And look, he can check up on those other crops. So nice. I'm glad he enjoys it. <laughs> We're putting him to work. But yeah, let me know what your kind of ideal video length is. You know, first one was 23 minutes. Second video was almost half an hour. This one I want to experiment making a little bit shorter just to see what you guys like. But yeah, anyways, thank you all so much for watching. This is Jay Wisp, and I will see you all in the next one.